Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We got the same setup. Uh, we're still in the first couple packs. So I'm just gonna skip most of the introductions. And we're gonna get into opening these. Um, Cause the last episode was over a half hour. And I don't like making videos that long, but at the same time, you kinda have to when you're looking at new cards. Uh, Cause I feel like four packs is a good level. We got uh, Madoki Betamon. Three play costs, zero digital shots, 4,000 DP vanilla. I like that they're giving the alternates like their actual names. I want to see them do that with uh, Black Agumon and some of the others, but it's good to see them getting that. Crimson Flare we've seen. Dokunamon we've seen. Tekamon we've seen. Ninjamon we've seen. Edamon we've seen, Yokomon we've seen, Metal Animon we have not seen yet. 11 play costs, 3 digivolution costs from yellow or black, 11,000 DP. On player when digivolving, reveal the top 4 cards of your deck. You may play any number of Digimon cards with Chumon, Sukumon, or Edamon in their names whose play cost adds up to 7 or less among them without paying their cost. Trash the rest. This is a very risk-reward card. Um, and again, I'm not sure that Enemon's there yet to build a deck. I want to see what the other cards look like. Uh, Ignitemon. Four play costs, zero digivolution costs, 2,000 DP. Digivolve zero from a level two with Egg Cross Hearts in its traits. Uh, when attacking, by deleting one of your other Digimon, delete one of your opponent's unsuspended Digimon with a level less than or equal to the de deleted Digimon's level. Inherited effect, all turns, once per turn. When you play a Digimon, by an effect, gain one memory. This guy feels like a pass to me only because it's like, this guy attacks, and then you can delete... Uh, then you delete one of your Digimon, and you delete one of theirs. Like, if you want to get rid of their big beefy level 6 or 7, you have to delete your level 6 or 7. And outside of, like, the uh, Phoenix Mon, like, I can't think of any off the top of my head where I'd be like, oh yeah, I want to delete it so that I can activate all these on-deletion effects. Poison Powder we've seen. We got the Shiny Tekamon. I'm, I don't like this. I really, mm. And then we got Yuya from the games. A four play cost. Start of your turn, if you have two memory or less, set your memory to three. Your turn, when one of your Digimon digivolves into a Digimon with Greymon in its name, uh, by suspending this Tamer, that Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP until the end of your opponent's turn. If it digivolves into the same level Digimon, uh, it isn't affected by your opponent's option cards until the end of your opponent's turn. Security, play this card without paying its memory cost. I could see putting this into my Red Greymon deck because I do have the... What is it? The Alterius Arms? So, I could throw one of these in there. Um, and I do like how it's... If you have two or less memory, set your memory to three. That is my favorite Tamer effect, I think. Uh, after that effect, it's like... Because I could play it regardless. But then it's like a make or break. Like, if we were having... Like, a draft Digimon thing, I would definitely put one of those Tamers in my deck. Because I feel like it would just power it up so much. Galgamon we've seen. Dark Blizzardmon we've seen. Garudamon we've seen. Ogremon we've seen. Snow Goblimon we've seen. Holy Sunshine. Solomon. Metal Tyrannomon. 8 play costs, 4 digivolution costs from green or black, 8,000 DP. It is a dual color card. When Digivolving are on play for each green or black tamer you have in play, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Then one of your opponent's suspended Digimon can't unsuspend during your opponent's next unsuspend phase. Inherited Effect. All turns, once per turn. When this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle, trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. I like this one. what this one does. Like I could definitely put this in like uh, a green-black deck that I was building. I like him. Mock Galmon we've seen. Just a arm, or just a mon, Excel arm. 
12 play costs, 4 digivolution costs, 12,000 DP. Digivolve 1 if name contains Justamon. When digivolving by returning 1 level 6 Digimon with without uh, Justamon Excel Arm in its name from this Digimon Digivolution cards to its owner's hand, this Digimon gets Security Attack plus 1 and Piercing for the turn. When attacking, if you have a Tamer in play, this Digimon can Digivolve into a Digimon card with Justamon in its name other than Justamon Excel Arm in your hand for Digivolution cost of 2, ignoring its Digivolution requirements. I like to see that they're given more of this playstyle for Justamon, so this is alright even though I haven't built a Justamon deck. Um, I do like that it gives them piercing. I do. I like that. Uh, Magna, Magma Bomb. Uh, six play cost. When you play this card, if you have a red tamer in play, reduce the cost by one. Main delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest DP. Security, activate this card's main effect. And this is another common that's now a foil. I would not play this one because it's uh, your opponent's Digimon with the lowest DP, so you kind of have to do some setup to make that six really worthwhile. And I'm not a fan of them making commons, shinies. I'm just going to say that. Lilithmon. 11 play costs, 4 digital costs, 12,000 DP. On play, trash the top 4 cards of your deck. Then add up to 2 cards with Bagra Army in one of their traits uh, from your trash to your hand. And place up to 2 Digimon cards with Bagra Army in their traits from your trash under one of your tamers. Opponent's turn. When one of your opponents moves a Digimon from the breeding area to the training area, from the breeding area, by trashing one of this Digimon's Digivolution cards, that Digimon gains, when attacking, lose three memory for the turn. I want to like her because she's Lilithmon, but I don't think there's enough good stuff here. I don't. All right, third pack. Got to say, I'm not enjoying that they're making commons and uncommons just regular shinies uh, for foils. I like it better when they're like box toppers or things like that. But when I'm actively opening a pack and the rare spot is now a common or uncommon, no, don't like. Uh, you've just devalued the pack. And really, you're just going to make it so someone out there is going to like fill a deck entirely with foils just because they can. I'm not a fan. Uh, Megalo Spark. I believe we've seen this one. Buster Drive. Buster Dive. We have not seen. Four play cost. When you would use this card, if you have a green tamer in play, reduce the cost by one. Main one of your Digimon gets plus 5,000 DP and gains Rush for the turn. Uh, then one of your Digimon may attack your opponent's Digimon. Ooh, I like that. And security, add this card to its owner's hand. So if you have a tamer out, this only costs three. And you can give one of your Digimon plus 5,000 DP and rush. And then one of them can just attack an opponent's Digimon. So any of their Digimon. Uh, I'm guessing unless like it's mother, because they can't be attacked. But you could definitely attack any of their unsuspended. And you've just bumped your guy up by 5,000. So that definitely uh, works. There's enough here where, like, even if I'm not using the full effect, I could definitely make this one work. Penguinmon. Three play costs, zero digital costs, 2,000 DP. On play by placing one blue level three Digimon card or one Digimon card with aqua or sea animal in one of its traits from your hand under this Digimon as its bottom digivolution card, draw one. Uh... I like this one because it kind of stops you from bricking a bit. Where, like, you play this guy down. Uh, then you can put a different card underneath him that's level 3. Like, if you drew two of him accidentally, you can put the second one underneath him and draw a card. So there's definitely some stopping you from bricking. But there's also, like, probably some level 3s with abilities. So I could definitely see this one being useful. Mon Mon we've seen. Tanemon we've seen. Uh, Centuromon we've seen. Grizzlymon we've seen. Birdramon we've seen. 
Coromon we've seen. Sukumon we've seen. Hades Force. Seven play cost. When you would use this card, if you have a Digimon with X antibody in its Digivolution cards, reduce the play cost by two. Main. Choose any number of opponent's Digimon and or Tamers whose combined play costs are less than or equal to the play cost of one of your Digimon with Greymon in its name and delete all the chosen cards. Then one of your Digimon with Greymon in its name may attack a player. Security, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the highest play cost. Yeah, I could definitely see putting this into a Greymon deck. Um, especially with the security where it's like, just delete the highest. That'd be pretty nice. Um, this one is a rare, so I'm fine with pulling it. And then we got... Ooh! This is another campaign card, I think. I'm not sure. But this is uh, BT2, so I have to imagine this is another uh, campaign card. 7 play cost, 2 digital cost, 6,000 DP. No active effect, inherited effect. Your turn, when this Digimon deletes one of your opponent's level 6 or higher Digimon in battle, unsuspend this Digimon. Uh, not as good as the Metal Trainamon we saw in this deck, or in this set, but I'm loving that artwork. It's got like the brush stroke backgrounds where they're like all different directions. Definitely like it. And it's also rare, so that's good last pack this video we're blazing through these now we got palmon three play costs zero to cost 2000 dp start of your turn draw one card from your deck no inherited effect another one i could easily put in the deck and just play for three and every single turn i get to draw an extra card per turn like yes love this this is a good one ice statue six play costs uh, when you'd use this card, if you have a blue tamer in play, reduce the play cost by one. Main, uh, trash the top th three Digivolution cards of one of your opponent's Digimon, then return one of your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution cards to its owner's hand. Security, activate this card's main effect. Six is a little high, five is still a little high, but I could probably throw one in a deck. Definitely put it in the side deck to... Help change my playstyle in between uh, battles. But yeah. Kotamon. Four play costs. Zero to cost, 3,000 DP. Has blocker. Uh, and this Digimon can't attack players. No inherited effect. Pass. Like, this guy's going to do nothing. I like my blockers to be at least champion. Because then I'm stopping, like, rookie rush type things. This one is just like, oh, your guy... Anything your opponent attacks with is going to die. Don't like it. Vegemon, we have seen. I believe so. Four play costs, two digital cost, 3,000 DP. Start of your turn, gain one memory. Yeah, we've seen him. I liked him before, like him again. Wanamon, we've seen. Shoutmon plus Star Sword. We have not seen this one. Five play costs, zero digital cost from a level three red. One digital cost from a level two yellow. He has dual color, 4,000 DP. This card slash Digimon is also treated uh, as if its name is Shoutmon and Starmon. Material save one when this Digimon would be deleted, but you may place two cards in the Digimon's Ekros uh, requirements from the Digimon's Digivolution cards under one of your Tamers. Unplay one of your opponent's Digimon Gets minus 3,000 DP for the turn. Then if uh, Ekrossing with two cards, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 2,000 DP or less. Ekross minus one uh, with Shoutmon and Starmons. No inherited effect. Um, again, I'm not a fan of this play style with the Ekross, so don't really like him. Mad Leomon Armed Mode. Ooh, I love Mad Leomon. Six play costs, two digivolution costs, 5,000 DP. Opponent's turn, once per turn, when an effect adds cards to your opponent's hand by trashing one of the Digimon's Digivolution cards, draw two cards. On deletion, save across two from Mad Leomon and one Digimon with Bagra Army and its traits. 
uh, inherited effect. Opponent's turn when an effect trashes this card from uh, Digivolution cards, gain one memory. I mean, we've seen that trash from underneath before, so that could be worthwhile. Uh, yeah, essentially, like, I think... I think I like this one. Like, this one's good. I don't like the Ekros. I don't think I'd put it in a deck, but if you are playing, like, this Bagger Army kind of style, I feel like this would be a solid add to it. We got an Agumon. Three play costs, zero digital cost, 1,000 DP. Uh, on play, reveal the top four cards of your deck. Add one Tamer among them to your hand. Place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. Inherited effect, your turn. While you have a Tamer in play, this Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP. It's got the wimpy body. You got to do it. You got to give it the play. So it's, you got to pay three to do the reveal. But I think this one's fine. I This one's passable as usable, I'd say. Waru Seedramon we've seen. Vmon we haven't seen. Three play costs. Zero digit foolish costs. 1,000 DP. On play, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one Digimon card with Vdramon in his name and one blue tamer among them to your hand. Place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. Inherited effect, your turn once per turn. When you play a blue tamer, gain one memory. I like the search effect. I don't like the inherited effect. I was thinking you make it into the Vmon, but then I'm like, no, I don't think I'll put him in the deck. Because of that bottom ability, I don't like it enough. And we got a shiny Sukumon, which we've seen before. I'm not going to read over the commons or the uncommons of these ones, because... We're going to go through them, and it, they're just kind of like toss away. And we got Tyrannomon. Five play costs, three digivolution costs from green or red, 5,000 DP. On play or when digivolving, you may play one tamer card with a play cost of three or less from your hand without paying its memory cost. Uh, inherit effect, your turn. While you have a tamer in play, this Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP. He seems all right. Again, they're really stressing on, we want you to play Tamers now. But yeah, there we go. There's another four packs. Uh, next time, we'll finish off the left side. So be sure to join us for that. Um, again, let me know what you guys think of these commons and uncommons uh, now being foils. I think they've totally done this in the incorrect order. Uh, if they wanted to, they should have started where they were giving us uh, the rares with the foil. And then they could have gone to this style where we're getting foils of commons and uncommons in that first slot and then uh, rares are above in that second slot. And then they should have gone to their previous one where it's like, all right, there's only rares are better in the second slot and only rares are better in the second slot. Like that would have been the way to do this. For me, it feels like they're doing a step back because they've changed it up in that situation. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, Give it a good old thumbs up. If you haven't, please do subscribe. It, I really do appreciate it. It really does help the channel. And as always, until then, I will see you next time.